And we are live. How's it going, everyone? Welcome to the BSC News NFT Summit. Today, we have a heavyweight lineup of BSC protocols that are looking to innovate and apply their creativity to the NFT space. For those of you who are unaware, we've been teasing this lineup all week, and we have speakers from Binance NFT, Refinable, ApeSwap, NFTB, and Dago Finance. These are some of the largest BSC protocols in the space that are focusing on NFTs, so I'm definitely excited for this. Each speaker has went ahead and prepared a short presentation, um, about two to three so slides. So we'll go ahead and jump into those and then open up to some general Q&A and some discussion. Yep, awesome. So we are going to be going out with a bang here. We do have someone from Binance NFT, the official arm, um, the official NFT marketplace from Binance joining us. And today, David Ahn, the Director of Business Development from Binance NFT, will be joining us to discuss what's going on there, what their outlook is on Binance NFT, and how, kind of how the ecosystem is growing. So without further ado, it looks like David is popping on now. How's it going, man? I'm doing well. Hi, Greg. How are you? I'm doing good. It's nice to have you on here. I'm glad we get to end off the event. I really appreciate you being flexible here and jumping on with us. Um, and without further ado, maybe you want to give a little boilerplate on yourself as we get this um, presentation set up. Sure. Let me just uh, prematurely share my screen. Awesome. Uh, I think a Chrome tab. Um, no rush. OK, yeah. Hey, my name is David. Um, I'm BD director here at Binance NFT. Uh, thanks for having me. And I'm, and today I'll be uh, talking um, about a specific subject that we really care about these days and also in Q4, which is our new format called IGO, Initial Game Offering. Um, so <clears throat> as we saw on Binance NFT, so first a few words about Binance NFT. We are the official central marketplace um, for NFTs for Binance. Um, everyone that is connected to binance.com can you know start um buying selling trading owning um nfts on binance nfts so it is a smooth um process so you basically have to just register and and and, and fund your wallets and then off you can go and buy nfts basically on the card there is um no additional minting fee or anything like that so and then <clears throat> uh, a lot of the um um, applications, a lot of the content, a lot of the NFTs that we actually uh, started selling from July uh, onwards in the past uh, three months were in the game area, so in the game fight area. So we saw a lot of traction here that our users really love um, game fight applications, love game fight uh, NFTs, especially uh, when it comes to uh, even before their actual game launch. Yeah, um, and so really it's a great tool so nfts are a great tool to really fire up the community and basically start engaging uh, the community with um the the product itself prior to the actual game release so we saw that you know when we were basically start selling nft assets through some sort of an igo through mystery boxes or premium events um, they were usually sold out in in a few seconds we see that the, the floor price is doing extremely well in the range of 4 to 23x. Um, whenever there is an IGO happening, um, average uh, page visitors on that day on that particular landing page uh, can uh, can go up to 110k uh, thousand. So, <clears throat> and also the reach is really global as Binance.com is really uh, the gl most global platform in the crypto space. Um, so just a couple of slides. I just really uh, will make it um, short. So what is an I IGO on Binance NFT? How, how can you participate? Why Binance NFT is the SDA IGO platform and how can I apply basically? So awesome. really make and just to jump in, sorry. I just wanted to outline sure. the actual amount of demand that this is showing, right? You're seeing these collections sell out within seconds. Um, and I think that's really a testament of how much the NFT and GameFi marketplace is growing. So just wanted to throw that in there. Absolutely. So um, initial game uh, offering is really, really selling game NFT assets slash items on Binance NFT, usually prior to the actual game release. Um, the NFTs can be like early access passes virtual items, characters, um, like 
for instance, also Binance branded in-game assets or like skins and, and, and everything that can be NFT basically that's, that plays a major role uh, in the GameFi application can be sold via an IGO. Uh, and so sometimes, and uh, you know, these are exclusive, uh, sometimes they are basically like specially designed. Um, and then uh, we, we sell those via a couple of tools that we have at hand through the IGO. Uh, an English auction, um, so we have fixed price sale model, so you can sell a high volume of NFTs at a fixed price, or we can have a so-called uh, mystery box where you basically place a couple of NFT items into a, a, a loot box, a mystery box, where users will buy one mystery box and then we'll get one NFT guaranteed. And then hopefully you will get like, let's say the super, super rare or the super rare um, usually, um, it's something somewhat around 40% probability you will end up with a common card, which is also okay, which you can then later on um, withdraw back to your to your wallet and then also use in in the game itself. Of course, uh, we also have possibility to 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 run multiple IGOs for for you as a game developer. So um, for a couple of our partners, we already are in the second or third inning so to say, and um, this is really a, a long journey that we want to take with our partners. And uh, it's important to mention that we have some sort of a curated landing page for the IGO where all the information, tokenomics, the roadmap of the game, what is the team, who's the team behind the team, um, and some, uh, or let's say, uh, previews on the game itself um, are, are condensed on that um, landing page. It's really helpful for the users. Uh, basically, right now, all Binance users are eligible to participate, so there's no special, uh, you know, barriers. You can just, uh, you know, participate as, on a first-come, first-serve basis. This might change in the future as demand uh, is increasing, so some of the, you know, loyal customers might get, you know, uh, additional benefits of getting uh, better allocations. Um, and uh, you can just use your uh, Binance wallet, uh, fund it, and then you can just use it in order to buy the NFTs uh, in, in light of the um, IGO. Why Binance? Why is Binance really the best uh, platform for gaming NFTs? Is number one, we're of course uh, the most global crypto community with over 60 million users in 180 countries worldwide. Uh, very strong in Southeast Asia, Latin America, Africa, Turkey, and India. Uh, but really globally, I think that's that's really important because that also differentiates us from a, from a marketplace uh, perspective to other marketplaces who, who tend to skew either to the west or the, to the east, I would say. Uh, we also work really closely together with guilds uh, that are actually also uh, engaging with the game for applications that we work together with. Um, also, another important factor is that we have a very big network of KOLs in the west, you sometimes called influencers, um, so key opinion leaders. Um, in, in on YouTube, TikTok, um, Instagram, and Twitch, and and um, so that's really great uh, because that gives credibility, additional uh, conversion driver, and, and brand reputation is just being increased uh, through this network. How to apply? Uh, you can you can of course add me on LinkedIn. <clears throat> I will send you the link to the application form. There is a very standard application form that you can just fill out. Uh, we also uh, want to stress at this point that we're multi-chain, so that means uh, we already allow ETH and, um, of course, BS BSC, and then we will, uh, in, in, in the future, uh, include more uh, blockchains to be traded on our on our marketplace. Uh, just one case study, and then I'll leave it with my presentation, is D-Race. So we're actually in the second inning, so to say, with D-Race. Uh, it's actually happening right now as we speak, so this is a really fantastic a horse racing game, some sort of a simulation game where you basically um, um, have an NFT in, in the forms of horses that you can um, breed and that can train and, and engage in horse racing races. And that is uh, really great because um, like, especially before the game, uh, users were really fired up in the community to buy those NFTs and the issuing price was really going up the roof, 20, 23X uh, and also a secondary market activity uh, was um, uh, leading to a 2.x, 2.5 um, average turnover per, per NFT in the secondary market. Uh, also, the uh, DERC token was really um, benefiting from uh, from that um, uh, cooperation with us. Yeah, so and just that, to yeah. touch on this, we are actually pretty familiar with DERACE as well. We've been covering these um, IGO events, and it, it was crazy. The first one was sold out within seconds, so it's again, seeing this demand actually in action here on the Binance uh, marketplace and then 
seeing the demand. And we also, it goes back to us sort of documenting and following these things because who knew um, what a year or two ago you were talking about these things and they may have seemed a little bit far out, but now our entire team, it's like, we're all getting stoked about the D-Race metaverse. And this is sort of just only the beginning. So I think that's incredibly unique. Um, David, I'm not sure if you have much more to share there. If not, we can wrap it up and I'll just get into some general questions. Sure, just, um, just um, we can we can do a Q&A session. Awesome, perfect. Just to start, I saw someone in chat. This is more of a general question. They were asking if there was going to be any sort of advanced filters for collection on Binance NFT Marketplace. I personally mm -hmm. haven't scrolled through there um, in a while, but I do remember at one point it did seem a little bit fragmented. So I'm curious mm -hmm. what your thoughts are, yeah. where you guys are at with that. Yeah, so um, bear in mind, we... Uh, the, the um, so the marketplace is just uh, live since uh, three four months and so we're of course the roadmap is filled up with all the discovery discovery is an important feature uh, that we need to uh, uh, improve on our platform so definitely this is something we're already having on a roadmap the backlog is filled with uh, better filter options and better discovery features and search features so uh, yeah stay tuned I would say awesome yeah and then. Just jumping into some more broad things, I'm curious, how big is the importance having something like Binance be able to extend an arm to you guys for onboarding new users and almost having this funnel of new user liquidity? And how important do you think it is to sort of pick important projects, um, long term partnerships and also like share education? Mm -hmm. So um, we made the um, experience that you know, when we work with premium partners and we're really um, being very selective on those uh, because number one, uh, we wanna make sure that we have um, the greatest content on our platform. And also uh, what's important is that those premium partners um, actually, actually educate their own user base in a way to onboard on Binance NFT. So it is really through top brands which bring credibility and reputation that users that might not have been previously familiar with NFTs actually get onboarded into the crypto space. So we see that firing up, educating, um, um, you know, informing users, not only on Binance.com through what we have in our channels, might it be social media, Telegram, Discord, Instagram and whatnot. Uh, but on the other hand, also on the partner side to really talk about NFTs, what are the clear values uh, of the NFTs is really important for the success of the campaign. So we really see those partnerships as a synergy between Binance.com and the partner themselves really collaborating intensively on those campaigns to really make the best success for NFTs. Definitely. Yeah. And I think that's incredibly important. That's kind of been one of the ongoing discussions today on how do we onboard these new users and make it as frictionless as possible. And it looks like the Binance NFT marketplace is an amazing place to start considering it has this funnel directly from Binance, um, making these things easy to use. I imagine the sort of change between fiat to actually purchasing it, purchasing an NFT is extremely seamless. So seeing features like that are incredibly important. I'm curious sort of what your outlook is on Binance Smart Chain NFT ecosystem as a whole. What are sort of some of the bigger things you guys are looking to do on that end? Um, mm -hmm. Just expanding innovation wise. Sure. Um, so on the BSC as well as on the Binance NFT side, uh, we of course see um, very big, two, two big trends. Number one is the utility part. Uh, we see, of course, that um, the whole area started very much driven by NFT art, where the value is derived from scarcity, from rarity of um, relevant artists, pieces, certified by relevant blockchain, such as BSC. And now we see that the market is evolving into the utility trend. And there we see, of course, various, I would say, utility streams might it be in the access side? Might it be on the GameFi side? Might it be on the DeFi side? So we actually see quite a few trends where NFTs really become uh, actually uh, go the next, I would say, level of evolution in terms of utility on various levels. 
And um, so this is something that we, of course, appreciate. We, we, we will continue to, to support. And, and going forward in Q4, we really see that um, the immediate utility is very strong with GameFi applications. So we naturally see that a lot of formally, I would say, DeFi-driven companies go into the GameFi uh, space and basically turn their applications, adding some um, levels of gamification in order to increase the value of NFTs. So this is definitely a trend that we see. But having said that, every game publisher out there is right now thinking about NFTs and how to incorporate that into their traditional free-to-play economics. So um, this is something that we also see that we see basically those areas merge together coming from the DeFi side and now from the traditional game publishing side getting into the NFTs and trying to make sense of it. So this is a very innovation uh, uh, push that we see right now uh, in the market that is the strongest as we, as we see it right now. Yeah, I 100% agree. I feel like that's been what the narrative's lining up to and just the actual intersection of technology and gaming there and crypto, it makes a lot of sense um, having these users cross over and kind of enter these boundaries. I was ta actually talking to Sammy at Binance Smart Chain, um, head of ecosystem development, and we were sharing similar sort of ideas that this is a great way to onboard new users to crypto. And it sounds like Binance NFT is really looking to use the position it's at to onboard users into the space um, and really get them into the funnel on Binance Smart Chain. It even sounds like you guys are doing things that are benefiting the entire Binance Smart Chain ecosystem, of course, starting with incubating top projects and really getting users into the funnel. But even other things, um, NFTB was mentioning that you guys have an integration with them as well. So I think that's truly unique. To sort of wrap things up here, I'm not sure if there's any last thing you want to touch on. I think overall, seeing how you guys are looking to incubate top quality projects, give a seamless onboarding way into NFTs is incredibly important. It's sort of been the theme of the entire summit. Um, and other than that, I think it's just interesting seeing the actual demand that Binance NFT is getting. Um, and I imagine that you guys don't see it slowing down too much in the next quarter or two. Um, and that will probably translate over to Binance Smart Chain and honestly across um, DeFi as a whole. Absolutely. And um, I think, um, and this is of course a statement that you will hear so, so many times, we're still in the early days uh, even in the NFT space, although the over market has hit uh, 10 billion uh, USD in trading volume last quarter and probably will outperform that in Q4. So that means we're on a run rate of a 40 billion industry. However, having said that, there is still a lot of, um, let's say, asymmetry when it comes to ownership of NFTs and in terms of value, 80% is owned by 20% of the whales. And so um, this is something that we would like to actually um, extend into more mass market. So we really want to work to drive the crypto industry to a more um, mass adoption phenomenon that not only like a couple of whales are actually owning large value pies of the industry, but actually, which is also creating potential price volatility risks in the market. But I really see that NFTs um, in 2022 will be embraced by a very broader audience um, actually who see and understand the value and also by that through entering through brands, NFTs, and then getting into the in crypto space that could be really driving the entire crypto um, industry as a whole. Yeah. And I think that's incredibly important that you brought that up, David, right? Because being in crypto, we know that volatility is subject to happen. Um, just looking in, like if you get too microscoped in the space, it's very easy to have, for lack of better terms, a bad experience with crypto. If you are entering in with only a two month time horizon um, and just end up entering at maybe where there's more hype, it can be a little bit discouraging. I personally entered into a period when there's a lot of hype, but it's something where when we're talking two, three quarter outlook in advance, that's extremely sort of zoomed in under the microscope. This is something where once you start looking into developments in the next two, three, five years, I think that's when you really start seeing awesome things. And it's just important to also take that aspect as well. Like when we have all this mania going on, it's very easy to kind of sit there with a magnifying glass and watch all of this 
um, kind of have these crazy upticks. But we've seen it before in crypto that volatility is just part of the space. So getting into these markets and having more of like a view of one to five year outlook versus one to three months definitely is more suitable and I think is important to be stated. Not to say some people don't come in for short term profits, but the average sort of investor, long term creative and project, they're going to have way more success um, just kind of getting into the space and constantly staying updated and building than sort of flip flopping and chopping around. So, yeah, I think that's sort of my main points there. Um, and that summarizes what you were getting at, David. Other than that, I really appreciate you jumping on and having this talk here with us. I'm not sure if there's anything else you want to add. I think that summarizes it up, it up pretty well for you. I'm all good. Um, so I think it's, I don't know in which time zone you are, but um, I'm all good. And uh, thank you for having me and uh, see you online. Definitely, David. Yeah, I'm here in California. I can't tell. Is it sunrise for you just about now? Is that what's happening? Oh, I'm actually here in Germany. So okay. um, I'm, I, I live very close to one of the biggest beer gardens uh, in Munich and therefore probably in the world. So um, thank you. Thanks for having me. Yeah, that's amazing, man. Enjoy the rest of your evening and I'm sure we'll chat soon. Thank you so much, David. Bye-bye. Peace out.